Microsoft Edge now has a Bing AI chatbot sidebar? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about Bing's AI chatbot in sidebar on Microsoft Edge. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. More on them at the end of the video. So as per the headline, Microsoft Edge now has a Bing AI chatbot in the sidebar. For those of you that don't know, that's basically Microsoft's response to ChatGPT. Microsoft brings its AI-powered Bing sidebar out of testing and into stable versions of its Microsoft Edge browser. Let's jump right in. So Microsoft is now rolling its uh, Bing AI-powered chatbot in a sidebar inside its Edge browser. The Bing sidebar was initially only available in dev versions of Edge, but now it's rolling out to stable versions of Microsoft Edge on both Windows and Mac OS. And we're going to go ahead and actually take a look at how exactly you'd be able to uh, access it in just a second here. Uh, the new sidebar appears as a big button at the top left of Edge and hovering over or clicking on it will activate the new Bing chatbot experience. Uh, if you're a member of the Bing, uh, sorry, the Bing preview, uh, you can use the chat function to ask the chatbot questions or uh, the compose option to generate text for emails, blog posts, letters, and much more. Um, essentially, if you want to make use of this chatbot right here, anywhere near like you would use ChatGPT, you need to be a part of the Bing preview uh, as Microsoft calls it. It's basically um, a version of their beta program on this specific service and until you know it's uh, you know publicly rolled out to everyone, only um, members will be able to access it. I'm not a member so I don't have access to it just yet but I'll be able to show you in just a second here exactly how you would go about accessing it. We actually have a screenshot of that too. Uh, here's what that would look like. Um, so this is obviously bing.com and this is the logo that we want to press or the icon if you will uh, the bing icon should be in the sidebar if you don't have the sidebar enabled you can obviously go ahead and um, enable it in the settings by clicking on the three dots and then settings and that's how you enable the sidebar and once you go ahead and do that uh, bing should be one of the things that's on here this itself is the chat box and uh, that's not uh, well, like I said, it's not available to me because then again, I'm not a Bing preview member. But for those of you who are, uh, you know, this is what the chat box looks like, which I I'm sure you already know at this point. Uh, as the sidebar is based on the context of the page you're viewing in Edge, you can do things like ask the chatbot to summarize information on a shopping site if you're viewing a product. The Bing sidebar can also summarize articles, compare items on a web page, and let you pick from a variety of tones to generate text in blog posts, emails, bulleted lists, and more. This new Bing sidebar in Edge hints at where Microsoft could go with its AI features for Windows, Office, and elsewhere. Google just announced its own plans to add ChatGPT-like AI to Gmail and Google Docs, allowing Google Workspace users to automatically generate emails, documents, and more. Microsoft is expecting to unveil similar features at an AI for work event on Thursday. The event will likely focus on how Microsoft's ChatGPT-like AI will work in the Office apps like Teams, Word, and Outlook. Microsoft launched a similar new generative co-pilot AI experience in Microsoft Dynamics 365 and Viva Sales earlier this month, which uses the Azure OpenAI service to automatically create sales emails. And um, uh, I, I guess that's uh, that's uh, exactly where you draw the distinction. Uh, ChatGPT, or at least in its current form, uh, is used to basically achieve uh, set tasks okay obviously uh contextual or textual related at this point from what i hear and um you know you basically tell it to do stuff and it just does it for you right uh whereas according to my opinion then again uh i don't have access to it just yet but based off of sheer speculation what i can see is that uh bing's ai chatbot integration in microsoft edge is more so about insisting and the betterment of your overall internet browsing experience more so than anything else and i feel like uh you know that's one thing that uh, you know, we, we could use a little something new in and because, uh, you know, surfing the internet has been pretty much the same uh, since, uh, you know, the 20th century. Not a whole lot has changed. Sure, the websites and what's available on the internet has changed, you know, 
every single second at this point i feel like you know there's uh new websites new services new companies uh you know just a whole lot of content available so there's a lot more for you to consume but uh how you actually go about consuming said content that has relatively stayed the same in my two cents and i feel like um you know having an ai assistant to like bring something new to the table or to enhance the overall experience while you're using the internet or um, the browser uh, you know I, I feel like that's just something that's uh, you know worth mentioning at least uh, praiseworthy in my opinion but yeah I'm I'm just waiting for the day when Bard's publicly out uh, published uh, you know perfected if you will that's Google's um, version of chat GPT uh, we got Microsoft's chatbot rolling in hopefully it'll take a couple of weeks and we'll be out for the entire public globally and then we have chat GPT 4 which is estimated to come sometime around uh, this year I, I would like to see just all three of them pitted against one another and uh, you know just uh, seeing uh, who does what best it's kind of like um, you know your google pixel versus your iphones versus your samsung's who wins but yeah those are just some of my thoughts on it let me know yours down in the comment section below clean phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely it has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.